I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome to our worship experience. Right now we take off every other garment and we put on our garment of praise. Because we are here for one reason only. To honor our king, to honor our God. So right now let's just open our mouth and just begin to thank the Lord for his goodness and his grace. And let's, let's just invite his presence as we worship. Come on, just open your mouth and begin to, to, to express yourself before your God this morning. Hallelujah. We are here to give you praise, God. In our homes, we give you praise. Wherever we are, we honor you. We worship you, mighty God. We enter in your courts. We come in with thanks for hearts this morning. We give you praise. you Lord no one like you you alone deserve the glory you alone deserve the honor you alone deserve the praise mighty God hallelujah 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 father we trust you God we trust you we trust you father you are our rock, our shield and hiding place. You are the one, our sure foundation. Ah, steadfast and sure. Steadfast and sure. We can count on your God. You are a God of integrity. You are a God of truth. We can take your word. Hallelujah. In you we have confidence this morning. In you alone we trust God. You are our help. We look to you, we look to you. We honor you. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord, thank you Lord. As last week Sunday we read Psalm 89, parts of it. And then on Wednesday again, Pastor, last point he was making, our, our God is a God of covenant. And one of the things, one of the scriptures, I'm not sure if I heard it. This verse read, but I'm going to read this verse in Psalm 89, verse 34. I think it's one of the greatest promises, greatest reminders that we ever have in Scripture. It says, I will not break my covenant. I will not take back a single word I said. That's a strong, a powerful promise of God. I will not break my covenant. I will not take back a single word I said. If we can find out what he said and hold on to what he says confidently, knowing that he's not going to take back him talk. He's a God of integrity. Hallelujah. So on that basis, we're going to worship with the understanding that this God is who he says he is. He means what he says and he says what he means. And we can just hold on to him. And be, be confident in this God. Hallelujah. So we're going to worship him this morning. Hallelujah. We're going to rejoice before him. For he's worthy. Hallelujah. Are you ready to worship him? Woo! Come on. Stand up wherever you are and let's worship. One, two, three. Oh!
trust you are here. Resurrection power of Christ alive in me, and I am free in Jesus' name. I will live, say, I will live, 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 I will live,
praises because you are an amazing God you are wonderful God you are indescribable when we think of all that you have done for us God day by day hour by hour God you are amazing 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 no one like you and we give you praise because we know we don't even deserve it God but we still give you glory and we still give you praise so take the glory, mighty God. Take the glory. Because you're amazing. You're amazing, God, you are. You're amazing, God, you are. You're amazing, God, you are. That's who you are. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. Your love for me. Your love for me. Yes, it's so amazing. It's so amazing. Your sacrifice for me. And for every blessing. For every blessing. Given to me. Give unto me, and for every 
surround us with favor. You are. I stand amazed, say. I stand amazed at your glory. I stand, I stand amazed at your strength. I stand amazed at your power. You are so amazing. Amazing. I stand amazed. I stand amazed at your glory. We stand amazed. Come on, just lift your hands right where you are. Just begin to just worship this God. Adore him, adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Adore him. Adore him. Adore him. You're amazing, God. Even when we turn our backs on you, even when we slip up, God, your arms are open wide. You enfold us. Thank you, Lord God, for your grace. You are amazing. That's why we worship you. We stand in awe of you, Lord. Amazing God. Jehovah, we praise you.
what a good time it is to pray for a nation after Judah has gone before. We praise the God of the nations. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and everybody that dwells therein. Amen. He is the amen and amen. And this morning, God, and as we come before you, we just want to lift up the nation of Thailand. Thailand's capital city is Bangkok and the population is just about 68.5 million people. A lot of people. Thailand, the word Thailand actually means land of the free. But the truth is this is a nation that is heavily bound. It's a captive nation, captive by the enemy. Though they proclaim freedom as a name, the sex trade has many slaves. One of the major problems in this particular nation is the sex trade and also human trafficking, slavery. That is what the enemy has spoken over this nation. But we believe the word of the Lord that says that who the sun set free is free indeed. And when Jesus died for us, he died that all men would be free. Amen? Amen. Christians in Thailand only make up about 1%. Muslims about 8%. But this is a Buddhist nation and they have a whopping 94.6% Buddhist population. As I watched the video for this nation, I watched as even in the streets, Women were putting their little offerings into a basket and bowing down to these monks or priests in the streets. I don't know what they think they can do for them. But I know a God who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above, more than we could ever ask, think, or even imagine. And all we needed was one. The one percent enough. We can turn around this nation, even from this house. When we pray and believe, what is impossible for us? The believers there have asked us to pray that the gospel would permeate the culture of Buddhist, spiritism and other occult movements. That moral conviction would fall on those that oppress others for profit via the sex trade. And that the growth of the church would reach the over 80,000 different villages. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God, that you don't need a bus, nor a plane, nor a car, nor a train to reach Thailand. God, we thank you that by your spirit, Lord God, you can move even now, Lord God, and stir up the nation of Thailand for you. God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that what is impossible with men, God, is possible with you. Creator of the universe, what can't you do? God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that when you made this beautiful nation, God, we see the pictures. Some of the most beautiful beaches in the world are on this very land. God, we thank you, Lord God, for the beauty of this land. We thank you for the prosperity of the land, Lord God. But mighty God, as we come before you, Lord God, we want to declare freedom. Freedom for this nation. For you were called to freedom, brothers, only not to use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love to serve one another. Galatians 5 verse 13. And Ephesians 2 verse 10, God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for Thailand to do. God, we thank you that today Thailand steps into its divine destiny, Lord God, and that this nation is changed. We don't have any other source, Lord God, but you. We don't have any other help but you, God. And we come to the truth. You are the truth, Lord God. And it's spirit and life, Lord God. It's health towards our flesh, Lord God. And we thank you for your word. And we thank you today, Lord Jesus, that as this word goes out into the atmosphere, Lord God, freedom comes to Thailand. We praise you and we honor you. Because you are a freedom giver, peace speaker, 
way maker, a miracle worker, a changing God, a God that changes anything he sees fit to change. You are the unchanging changer and we thank you mighty God for what you do is good and we will see it in our time in Jesus mighty name. Amen and amen. you to lift up your hands come on this morning we come we bring our morning sacrifice to him hallelujah come on lift up your voices the fruit of your lips giving thanks unto him and blessing his name for the Lord he is good his mercies endures forever his truth endures to all generations come on all over this place come on and wherever you are lift up your hands come on lift up your voices we bring sacrifices of praise unto our God we bring our morning praise let your morning praise rise to him hallelujah let your morning Oh, we love you, God. Yes, God. 
God, we love you. We love you. We love you. God, God, we love you, God. We lift up and glorify your name this morning, Lord. Yes, Lord. We magnify you, God. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. You to be feared above all gods. Mighty King and God, we exalt you, Lord. Hallelujah, lift up your voices, praise is not silent. Tell him, tell him, tell him. Great and mighty, great and mighty, awesome king. You're the source of our life. You're the strength of our heart and our portion. Yes, you are sufficient, see our joy, our crown. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We praise you, we honor you, Lord. Where are you, Lord? We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. We You were glorious. You were great. You are so good. This morning we come. We open our hearts to you. This morning, hallelujah. Great is your faithfulness. Great is your grace. Hallelujah. You who redeem our lives from destruction. You crowned us with, oh God, loving kindness and tender mercies. You are the source of our life, our Father. Hallelujah, in you we live, in you we move, in you we have our being. You are the life giver. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Your Holy Spirit lives within us. God in us, God in us. You are in us. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. We thank you, God. We thank you, God, for investing, oh God, of your Spirit in us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for sharing your glory with us. Thank you, Lord, for you've given us, you've given us. You said, I give you, I give you, I give you, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Father. Father. Giving us your power and your might. Hallelujah. Father, blessing and honor and glory and strength and majesty be unto your name and you've allowed us to be part of that you've allowed us thank you for sharing part of your oh god of who you are with us thank you for sharing part of who you are with us thank you for giving us oh god of who you are god yes lord thank you lord you alone god we give you glory and honor we give you glory We bow down and bless you. We bow down and honor you. We bow down. Hallelujah. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty, mighty, mighty God.
Mother Boy, Ramani Bosai, Shina Nana Masin, the Debe Sandarai, Kinan and Men and Manala Masi, Rebo Robo Sondo, Robo Bobo, Rabadi Bosada Badi, Yandala Basin, the Lobo Sandana Basse, Randana Basi, Shedalabo Sandala Lalabada Basaya. Oh, we glorify your name, God. Hallelujah. Father, we pray. We praise you. And we magnify you. We pray this morning, Father, that your presence, your awesome presence, Father, will fill our lives. God, we thank you, God. Yes, for the Holy Spirit that you've invested in us thank you Lord God the earnest of our salvation father we thank you God yes that you choose to oh God cause us to be a part of you God Lord we thank you Lord you said father Lord God that oh God out of our bellies shall flow rivers of living water let that those living water spring up even now let life flow from us in the name of Jesus Lord, as we praise, let your praise go forth into the nations. Oh God, right down into the city and into this nation, Father. We thank you, Lord God. Yes, Father, as we lift up our voices, as we lift up, oh God, the praises, as we send forth your praises, we thank you there shall be breakthroughs in, oh God, all around us. Father, we thank you, God. Let there be a flow, God. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, of your anointing and of your presence, Father, Lord God, we lift up holy hands all over this place in your homes. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up holy hands before him. Lift up your voices. Father, we thank you, honor you, and magnify you. You are God. There is no other. Lord God, we give you all the glory and all the praise. God, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Randy Bose kete rebe besanda re kete rebe besanda re besata re bedo rebe besanda bo rebe kosa. Thank you for the authority that you've given to us in the earth. Thank you for restoring the authority of your church. Yes, God, as we stand, as we declare, as we stand in faith, we lift up the shield of faith this morning. Randy bo rebe kosa ya kete rebe besaya. We send your word of healing, God. Yes, Lord, to those that will need it this morning, you send your word and heal them. Oh, God, for you were wounded for our transgression, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon you, and with your stripes, by your stripes, we are healed. I thank you for your healing power flowing. God, to every person right now, let strength, Father, flow. In the name of Jesus, spirit of life, spirit of life, rise up. Spirit of life, rise up in the name of Jesus. Quicken, quicken everybody, quicken our bodies. Father, Lord God, for you said your same spirit that dwells in us shall quicken our mortal bodies. We thank you for quickening. Quickening spirit, quickening spirit, go forth. Hallelujah, quickening spirit, go forth. If you need a healing right now, come on right now. Lift up your hands and say, by your stripes I am healed. By your stripes I am healed. He was wounded for your transgressions. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Yes, Lord. He has redeemed us. He has redeemed us. He has redeemed us. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. I am redeemed out of the hands of the enemy. I am redeemed from sickness. I am redeemed from curses. I am redeemed. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so this morning. We speak life, 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 life to every person, God. Breathe your life, breathe your life into every person right now, God. Hallelujah. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. 
So Father, we thank you for touching every person. We thank you for delivering every person. We thank you, Lord, for strengthening your people. We thank you for touching your people. Oh God, as your word go forth today, God, your word is spirit and it is life. It is life to those that find it. It is health to all their flesh. God, may we find your word today. May your word come to us, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord God. Signs follow your word. Signs will follow your word. Father, as we believe it, we lift up the shield of faith over every person this morning. And we thank you, Lord God, as we stand upon your word. We know that you're standing, oh God, behind your word to back it up. For you are a faithful God and every word of God proved true. Father, we thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. Thank you, God, for moving in this house and moving, God, in the homes of your people. God, today, we bless you. We glorify you. We honor you, Lord. Yes, you are a faithful God. We believe you. We believe you. We believe you. Come on, I dare someone to tell him, Lord, I believe you. Lord, I will trust you. Lord, I will rest in you. Lord, I will run to you. Lord, I call on you. God, call upon me and I will answer. God, thank you and thank you and thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We believe you, Lord. We trust you, Lord. And so we rest in you, God. Hallelujah. We run to our rock, the rock of our salvation. We run into our refuge. We run to that hiding place. God, thank you, Lord. Your word said, just like a mother hen gathers her, 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 her chicks under her... Uh, her wings so the Lord so the Lord I want you to have a picture this morning of, 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 of God just gathering you up under I want you to just snuggle up under those feathers this morning just have a picture of him just spreading his his uh, you know spreading his wings over you and you just snuggle up in, into that place of security and safety snuggle up under him this morning Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let him draw you in this morning with his love. Come on, come on. I feel it in this house. Let him draw you in. Let him draw you in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word said he's our good shepherd. He's also a good shepherd. A good shepherd who cares. He cares for his sheep. Hallelujah. Not one of them will he want, yeah, 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 to go missing. Oh God. Just like how we are a shepherd in the natural cares pouring in the oil and the wine so he pours in his oil the anointing hallelujah so he pours in oh oh and you this morning come on see him this morning lift up your hands all over this place wherever you are lift up your hands and receive as he pours in lord fresh oil of your anointing pour it out on every person pour out the anointing oil pour out your fresh oil yes bind up every wound hallelujah God of heaven, provider, supply, supply. You don't have to worry. Don't, you don't have to worry. He's a good shepherd. He's a good daddy. He's an awesome savior. Hallelujah. He wants to protect. He wants to keep. He wants to guide and guard. Hallelujah. He's good. He's good. He's kind. Hallelujah. He's good. He's not a careless shepherd. He's a good shepherd. Hallelujah. He's able, well able. He's well able. He's well able to take care of every one of you. He is well able. Hallelujah. 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 We rest. Come on, rest. Rest, rest, rest under those arms. The eternal God is our refuge. Underneath are the everlasting arms. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, thank you, God. He's holding you. He's carrying you, child. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Receive the comfort of Jesus. Receive the life of Jesus. Receive the care of your good shepherd. Receive your, his provision. Receive his healing. Receive his life today. Receive it.
God one time. Come on, think about it now. Think about it now. Think about it now. Teaspoon. It's not a little teaspoon. It's not a little trickle. It's not a little drop. No, great is the measure. Hallelujah. He loads us down. He loads us down. His love reaches to you and to me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We receive your love. We receive your love this morning, Father. We receive your life. We receive your care and your protection, Lord. <laughs> ah, hallelujah. Come on, I want you to receive his joy to this morning. His joy, his joy, his joy, his joy, his joy, his joy as he releases his joy, his peace, his joy, his life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Receive his joy, his life. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> ah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Sweet Holy Spirit. Thank you. Fresh oil of your anointing. Pour it out in this place. Pour it out this morning. Pour it out in every home. Pour out your fresh oil. Ha <laughs> ha. Radibo se teke dada badibo sata dibo rasaya. Hallelujah. Shana namasa. Shana mani 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 mo sata ribo saya. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, we bless you. Jesus, we praise you. Lord, we honor you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you that are in the house, you may have your seats. We want to welcome you. We want to take this time to welcome you, all of you, wherever you are this morning. Fresh Bread family, every uh, partner, yes, every friend, wherever you are, we welcome you to the house of the Lord. Thank God for what he's doing. Thank him for his presence in this place. We thank him for his continued faithfulness. His continued hand of mercy and blessing upon his people. We thank you that his word is still alive and active. His promises, they, they are forever true and sure. We thank him that we can trust him because he will never change. He's a good God and a mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in this time, he is he's proven himself to be faithful again and again and again. But how can we even be surprised at that? He remains faithful. He cannot deny himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A faithful God can only be faithful. A faithful God can only be faithful. A mighty God can only be mighty. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So we thank him for all that he is. He is a father, our source, our life giver. We bless him. Hallelujah. And we will boast about him. And we will not stop bragging about him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are not ashamed of him. Hallelujah. He has been good. Thank you and thank you and thank you. If you're watching us for the first time, we say welcome. Welcome to this uh, morning service. And we pray that, you know, as you, you know, stay with us, as you listen, that the Lord will meet you right where you are. And the word of God, we declare revelation come into your spirit and transformation as a result. Transformation that will change not only your life, but the life of your family and your generation. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We want to read the word of God this morning. We go right in. We're going to read from Matthew chapter uh, 7. We're going to read from verse 7. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, worship team. Hallelujah. Yes. Media. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's stand again. For the reading of the word in your homes, stand. Let's read the word of God. Remember, you are in church. So let's, you know, get ourselves in that mode. Yes, church this morning. All right, let's go. We're going to read from verse 7. Let's read together. Ready, read. Keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking. And you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives. Everyone who seeks finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. You parents, if your children ask for a loaf of bread, do you give them a stone instead? Or... If they ask for a fish, do you give them a snake? Of course not. So, if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good gifts to those who ask Him? Do to others whatever you would like them to do to you. This is the essence of all that is taught in the law and the prophets. You can enter God's kingdom only through the narrow gate. 
The highway to hell is broad and its gate is wide for the many who chose that way. But the gateway to life is very narrow and the road is difficult and only a few ever find it. Beware of false prophets who come disguised as harmless sheep but are really vicious wolves. You can identify them by their fruit, that is, by the way they act. Can you pick grapes from a thorn bushes or figs from thistles? A good tree produces good fruit, and a bad tree produces bad fruit. A good tree can't produce bad fruit, and a bad tree can't produce good fruit. So every tree that does not produce good fruit is chopped down and thrown into the fire. Yes, just as you can identify a tree by its fruit, so you can identify people by their actions. Not everyone who calls out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. On judgment day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name and cast out demons in your name and perform many miracles in your name. But I will reply, I never knew you. Get away from me, you who break God's laws. Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise, like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Though the rain comes in torrents and the flood waters rise and the wind beat against that house, it won't collapse because it is built on bedrock. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish, like a person who builds a house on sand. When the rains and floods come, and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching, for he taught with great authority, quite unlike their teachers of religious law. We thank God for his word this morning. And as the word come to us this morning, the teaching of the word... You're talking about the rock, building on the rock. Our bishop comes to us now, and he's coming to talk about the said word, the rock. Uh, that's our theme for this month as we, you know, seek to do the prophetic mandate that God has given us this year. Whatever is in you, on you, and at hand, use it. Hallelujah. Could you welcome Bishop Samuels as he comes? to speak. Praise God. Amen. Come on, lift your hands and praise him wherever you are. Hallelujah. We worship you this, this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I tell you that song, first song that we sang, Jehovah, we praise you. Amen. Amen. You know, sometimes we sing a song and we sing it, but then we sing a song and we really sing it. Amen. Because it connects with our spirits and it connects with us in terms of um, our praise to our God. And this morning we truly praise him. Amen. I remember we praise by faith. Amen. Because sometimes before the reality of the song kicks in, we may not feel anything, but that's okay. As we continue to exalt him, he begins to build the throne. He begins to express himself in us. Hallelujah. So let's also lift our hands to him this morning and, and begin to, from the fruit of your lips, Wherever you are, Father, we thank you. 
Jehovah, we praise you. We magnify you by faith, God. We say you're beautiful beyond description. Marvelous than any other thing upon this earth. We magnify and come before the throne of grace and of God. And we say mighty is our God. Glorious in holiness. Fearful in praises. Doing wonders. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God provider and king master of all the universe hallelujah creator redeemer soon coming king glorious one we worship you this morning we exalt you lord we give you glory we lift you up to the highest place exalted be the god of jacob of abraham and of our lord and savior jesus christ hallelujah praise be to the god hallelujah who lives forever hallelujah there's no searching of his on of his wisdom and understanding it's beyond anything we could ever imagine hallelujah hallelujah to the one who sits upon the throne hallelujah oh the unapproachable light glory a face that no one can look upon and live hallelujah eternal god and savior we praise you praise you god praise you for your dealings praise you for your salvation praise you god for sending your son praise you for salvation Praise you for new life. Praise you, Lord, that in you we live and move and have our beings. Thank you, mighty God of heaven. We worship you. We worship you. Thank you for your promise that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty God of heaven thank you father we worship you god hallelujah thank you father thank you for your mercy god we ask that even now let your mercy flow to every person listening under the sound of my voice right now oh mercy that heals Mercy that restores. Mercy that provides favor. Mercy that causes the compassion of God to come to someone who needs it right now. And God, I declare even now, God, that by your mercy, God, you will heal everyone now that is sick in their bodies, sick in their minds, Oh, seek in their spirit, God. Bring healing right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Touch of God. Thank you, Father. It is still the stretching forth of the hand of the Holy Child, Jesus. That miracle signs and wonders are accomplished. Lord, I thank you for this healing virtue that goes right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And every spirit of darkness and spirit of infirmity, we break your power now. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> every spirit of bondage, whatever your name is, we defy you now and you become subject to the name of the Lord Jesus. Be removed right now. Right now. We thank you God for deliverance and victory now. That people everywhere now is experiencing 
because of your greatness, O oh God of heaven. Thank you, Father. Thank you for doing it, Lord. We worship you, God. Come on, lift your hands one more time. And we praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, your name. <laughs> Hallelujah, we praise you, God. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jehovah. We praise you. We praise you. Jehovah, we praise you. Sing it again to him. Jehovah, we praise you. Jehovah, oh, Jehovah, we praise you. We praise your name. We praise. Sing it again with him one more time. Oh, Jehovah, we praise you. Sit up upon the throne. Jehovah, we praise you. We praise your name. We praise your name. understand what David meant I will bless the Lord at all times for a soul that is connected to a revelation of who God is there is no cessation of praise because even when our out man one man is perishing yet our in one man is alive Jehovah, we praise you. We praise you. <laughs> Jehovah, the self-existing one who needs no one to exist, who has been his counsel, who have come together to advise him because he is the embodiment of wisdom, of all truth all knowledge. I like to lift up that name one more time. Jehovah. Jehovah. The all encompassing one. Jehovah. Jehovah. We praise you, God. We 
up on the throne, exalted above all else. God, there is absolutely not like you. For you, mighty God. Exalted be. Exalted be the God of our salvation. God of our salvation. God of our salvation. As we speak of the rock, not only we hear the words of Peter through Revelation, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God, and Jesus proclaiming upon this rock, I will build my church. It's not just hearing about this rock, but my faith is in this rock. And God has impressed on me so much. He says, what needs to be built now more than ever is the faith of God's people. As James talked about it, Building up your most holy faith. Building up your faith can be built. If your faith has not yet... Get out of foundation. It can come out of foundation. It can be built. That there is a manifestation of your faith. For some of us, God has been building our faith and we have been at foundation level. And usually foundation is not easily seen. Foundation is not in essence the manifestation of the building. It is very important, but it's not the manifestation of the building. The manifestation of the building comes by what is built on the foundation. And for some of us, God has been building us up. And I hear God says, it is time for the manifestation of your faith. Now, let me say that again. God says, it is time for the manifestation of your faith. The manifestation of your faith. Because you have heard the word that has laid the foundation for your faith now to continue to work and be seen. And be seen. Be manifested. Um, it's like making an investment. How many of you know that if you make an investment and you do not see any growth, I ask you to go back and take back your money. Because your investment must produce increase. It must produce more than what is invested. And so, as we talk about faith in the rock, 
we have to understand that it's my faith that determines the result I have in my life. Let me say it again. It's my faith that determines the result in my life. It's good to dance before God. It's good to sing before God. And all of that is actually setting us up to, be, to have a revelation of this God in then who we can trust and see results. I like what Jesus said to the two blind men in Matthew chapter 9 and verse 29. He said, he did and then said something. When they came to him and they said to Jesus, the blind man, I want you to open. We come, have mercy on us. And then Jesus asked them something. Do you believe that I'm able to do this? That question is very potent. He says, do you believe that I can do this? So it's not a matter that Jesus cannot do. It's a matter if you believe he can do. Are you listening to me? It's not a matter of, the, of, of whether Jesus can do. Because we know he can do. And he has been doing. Before creation. And during creation, and is continuing to do. But the fact is, do we believe that he can do for you? That's the question. And so he says, do you believe that I'm able to do this? Their reply was, yes, Lord, they reply. Yes, Lord, we believe you can do, because you have been doing and we have heard of your doing. And I want your doing to become a reality in our lives. Because sometimes we watch other people, the doings of God in their lives. But we do not believe that he can do the same in me. Are you listening to me? And so they say, yes, Lord, they reply. Watch his action. Then he Touch their eyes. He what? He touched their eyes. He touched their eyes. And I want you to notice the next st statement. He says, according to your faith. And I'm reading from the NIV. According to your faith, let it be done to you. What he did? He touched their eyes. And you think he would have just touched their eyes, and once he touched their eyes, um, he didn't have to say anything. It would open. But the Bible says he touched their eyes, and then he make a statement that is very important. He says, according to your faith. According. The word according means um, I'm controlled by what you now allow. Are you listening? It's according to what? Your faith. So wherever your faith is concerning this, it will happen in the same manner. Anybody listening to me? It will happen what? In the same manner. Wherever your faith is, is where your result is. And sometimes we wonder why we don't get certain things done. God always reward you or Come to your, to your rescue or come to where you are on the level of your belief. All right, let me say that. On the level of your belief. Jesus said, according to your faith, let it be done. And I, that is why you don't have to quarrel with people and get upset with them. They will only receive on the level of their faith. Are you listening? On the level of your faith. And that's why James says, you must build up 
your faith because as you build your faith, you will receive according to where you have built it. Nobody not. <laughs> to the level you have built your faith is the level you will receive. And some people are trying to receive things that they have not built their, their level of faith to. So they become disappointed when things don't happen to them. Why? Because they, their faith is not at that level. So some people, you got to tell them to do things that you would not do because where you are in your faith, you're able to stand there. Because if a man's faith is, is saying, I will get my healing at the doctor, don't try to pray for him to get healing by faith with your faith. Because his faith is where? Somewhere else. So you got to allow him. If a man says he wants to go home to Jesus, don't waste your faith. Because according to his faith or her faith, she won't go home. And you know it takes faith to go home too. <laughs> because anything you can see, you got to believe. Yes. Nobody not talking. Yes. I believe that when Jesus Christ come, I'll go with him. I believe. I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know the chemistry about it. But I believe. So the level of your faith will determine the level of your results. And the more we understand this, is the less frustrated we will be with people. Are you listening to me? So you have to discern where people are at. Even in your prayers. You have to discern when it comes to you agreeing with them concerning what they want. Because sometimes you and I think that all that happened is based only on your prayers and not the status of the next person. That's why Jesus touched there and throughout scriptures, you can read it, throughout, Jesus always says, your faith. The woman faith. The centurion faith. Are you listening to me? Because the level of faith, and that is why, let me, let me just skip ahead a little bit. Because if you, you read Matthew 8 and 9, you'll find there the, I mean, so many stories of, 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 of people expressing their faith. Expressing their faith. But, but the, 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 the one that stands out even more so is found in Matthew 8. The Bible says, when Jesus had entered, verse 5, entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him asking for help. Lord, he says, my servant lies at home paralyzed, suffering terrible. Jesus said to him, shall I come and heal him? The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. So here you're seeing his, the centurion level of faith. For I myself am a man under authority with soldiers under me. I tell this one, go and he goes. And to the one, come and he comes. And I say to my servant, do this and he does it. Look at verse 10. Very, very, very important. Look at verse 10. When Jesus did what? Heard this. When Jesus what? Heard this. He was amazed. Jesus amazed? How can Jesus be amazed? How can the son of the living God be amazed? How can, how can, how can the, this God who, who, this God man who was before time, who was in the bosom of the father when everything was created, how could he be amazed? I'm going to show you why. Let's read a little bit. I tell you this one. 
go and he goes. Right? When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, truly I tell you, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. First of all, this indicates that all this while, he was looking for a level of faith in Israel. No, no, you're not hearing me. He was looking for a level of faith in Israel because this was not the first time Jesus met people with faith. This was not the first time that he met people, but in the covenant people, among the covenant people, this kind of revelation and understanding of God, he never found among the people who should have it. It tells me, therefore, that even among the church, where you thought with all the word, and with all what we are surrounded with and come, you would think that you would find certain level of faith in the church. It is no different than the time of Jesus that sometimes we search to find people who, oh God, should believe to a certain level and we can't. Because God is still searching for somebody who will stand up, oh God Almighty, even when the situation look overwhelmed, to find somebody who will believe him above the norm. Watch what he says. Truly, truly, and whenever Jesus uses the word truly, it's for emphasis. He used, old King James said, verily, same thing. When he used the word truly, it was for emphasis. He's emphasizing. He's saying, look here, I search all over. I have not found. And you cannot say, I have not found if you were not searching. Are you listening? And Jesus said, I am searching. And he says, I have not found anyone. Are you listening to me? All of Israel, all of covenant people, all of the seed of Abraham, all of those people who have the promise and all of those who have the, 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 the Pentateuch and, and, the, and, the, and the writings of the prophets and the doing of what God, God, Jesus said, are searching and I can't find this kind of faith. I find other kinds of faith, but not this one. I find little faith. Oh God Almighty. But I, but I, 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 I did not find. And I have to where I thought it would come from, it didn't come. And where it shouldn't come from, it came from. Oh, you're not listening to me. And that's why the Bible talks about that God is no respect of person. That anyone, anywhere, in all nations that will fear me and, and, and trust me, I am the God that will turn up in their circumstances. And watch what he says. I have not found any one in Israel with such great faith. Then, oh God, you know, I, I never tied this to, to this, but, but when I began to read this, verse 11, it says, it says, I say to you that many will come from the east and the west and will take places, their places, will take their places at the feast with Abraham. And I'm telling you something. Jesus was deliberate when he used Abraham. What do, who do we call Abraham? We call him? The father of faith. So heaven. To connect with heaven. There is no other means of connecting with heaven but faith. Watch this. Watch this. I say to you that many will come from the east and the west. And will take their places. What he's saying. Many will come from east and west. Because if you're going to say east and west. You must be standing in the middle. Nobody not to hear me. You must be standing in the middle. So what he's saying. I am standing here. Among my people so to speak. 
among the chosen ones, among Israel, that have shown my power, that have shown my might, that have seen my miracle. And they have it written down. They have testimony of my greatness. They have seen my provision. And yet I stand in the midst of a people that at this time do not believe me. Do not stand on my word. But there are people who are not of this fold. There are people who are not who have not been exposed to all the covenant blessing of, 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 of Israel that are to the west and to the east and they are far off will believe me here and they will enter into the rest of God because of their faith not that they weren't worshipping Buddha not that they weren't born in society that do not know God but when an opening came that they could believe God they took the opportunity and you who are sitting down for years months under the, under the word under this are still in a place of unbelief you can sit in church and still at a place of unbelief. This statement is sad. Watch what he says. And will take their place in the feast, at the feast with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in where? The kingdom of heaven. But the subjects of the kingdom. Everybody says subjects. Subject. Who is a subject? No, I'm not talking about maths, English, and, and, and science now. Who is a subject? Come on. Who is a subject? The subject means that you're supposed to be under the authority of someone. That you are, you you are, in essence, obligated, subjugated, submitted to an authority. Right? So you become the subject. And sometimes they sometimes use slave, slave and subject in, in, in line, but it can be different. Right? He says, You are what? Subjects. Where? Of what? They are subject of what? They are subject of the kingdom. Let me stop long enough to explain something. Because you, you can be of the kingdom, but not in the kingdom. Are you? You can be of the kingdom. I can come from a, not a citizen of Jamaica. I can come to Jamaica and they'll give me permission to stay here for six months. To stay here for six months. First of all, I now become a part of this kingdom. In the sense, now I have to obey the laws and conduct myself. Not because I am from another country. But because I'm here. Are you listening to me? And I have to come, I'm supposed to come under the, the same laws and regulation. Because I am here. But those who are in the kingdom, which speaks of the fact that you are an integral part, you were born here, you are of here, you are able now to access because of the fact that you were born here, you're in this, this is yours. Are you listening? You can access it. The one who is only off, who comes and come under because the one is visiting and not and have not settled their citizenship. Are you listening? To me? Have not settled their citizenship. <laughs> have not settled. Therefore, they do not have the right, although they are of the kingdom, but not in the kingdom. Watch this. Watch this. What happened? He says. He says. But the subject of the kingdom will be thrown where? Outside. Will be what? Thrown outside. I mean, it sounds, it sounds, I mean, it sounds almost, I mean, unmerciful. But God says, 
you cannot operate in this kingdom outside of faith. And let me say it again. You cannot what? Operate in this kingdom outside of faith. All doubters and murmurers and people who fail to, to stand in the promises of God cannot access the benefits of the kingdom. He says, they will be what? Thrown outside into the darkness where there will be what? Weeping, gnashing of teeth. Thrown out in the darkness. And I want you to understand then that he did not say thrown out to hell. But thrown out in the darkness. What does darkness represent? No light. No light. But not no light. They are in ignorance. So you cannot access what God has for you if you are not in the light. Dark people don't know, people in darkness do not know how to operate and how to go. And that is why even within the context of church, people will come to church and still walking in darkness. There is no expression of God in their lives. Because they have refused to believe God. They have refused to position themselves to accept the word for what it is. They have not prepared their hearts. Watch this. They have not prepared their heart. Jesus spoke about it. He says, there are those who hear the word but have not given their heart and make their heart a good soil for that word to grow, for that word to come alive. But the, the word dropped by the wayside. And what happened? The fowl of the ear does what? They pick up the word they pick up the word and the word never grew in them never grew in them and i'm talking about people who what hear the word hear the word and that's why jesus said be careful what you hear because you are what responsible for what you hear and if you are hearing faith must come nobody not hear me for what faith comes by what hearing so when you are hearing the product of your hearing should be what faith and if the product is not faith then it simply means you are in a position watch this you're in a position like Israel to be cast out in darkness anybody hearing me today I said you are in a position to be what cast out into darkness where there's weeping and gnashing. And, uh, listen to me. There's, there's some weeping and gnashing and, prevail, and trials that people go through that is not trial of your faith. It is trial because you never believe. And there are people subject of the kingdom that is wailing and gnashing teeth. Are you listening to me? Trouble like, trouble like rubble. Are you listening to me? I mean, all kinds of things. And you can lay your hand on them till tomorrow morning. Let me tell you something. That is why a believer has to be discerning. Nobody not hearing me now. I said a believer has to be discerning. There are some people you have to discern. You don't lay your hand on them. Lay not your hand on anybody suddenly. Are you listening to me? There are some people you don't lay hand because of the fact that they have been exposed to the word. They have been exposed to an environment of seeing the working of God. And yet they have not prepared their heart. Matthew 13, they not. The, 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 the word that fall on good soil. What did the word say happen? That, that they what? They prepare their heart. Their heart, they prepare it. So it becomes good soil. So when the seed go in there, it found a good soil for which to what? Grow, germinate, and grow. Therefore, I have to prepare my heart for the word. I have to prepare my heart for the word. For the word can come and find three other soils that are not good for production. So I have to prepare my heart. And if I don't prepare my heart and that word uh, does not result in my faith growing and become, then I can come to a place just like Israel, just like Israel, subject of the kingdom, but will be thrown out 
outside in darkness, not having revelation, not having direction, not understanding what to do. Oh, just like the world. There are many believe um, Christians that are acting just like the world because the word came to them and they never prepared themselves to receive this word. So therefore, therefore, they're, they're, what they're going through resembles the world. For the world lies in darkness. The kingdom is light. The kingdom is revelation. The kingdom, when you're in the kingdom, you can see, you know what to do, when to do it, how to do it. There's constant revelation. Why? Because the Holy Spirit will always speak to you and show you things, even things to come. But the man who refuses, although was exposed, the man who refuses, though he was exposed, shall be beaten with many stripes. I want to tell you, it's not me say so. In my Bible, it is in red, indicating that Jesus says so. Verse 13 says, then Jesus said to the centurion, what he said to the centurion? What he said to the centurion? What he said to the centurion? Go let it be what? Done. Let it what? Done. He says, allow it to be done according to what? Just as you? Just as you. So when you say just as, what do you mean? Just as. We, we in English, we, you know, we do similes and all those things. He said, exactly as you believe it would. So the bono, the owners came on the man, not on Jesus. Because what we are saying here, oh Jesus, come and do it. Come and do it. We don't want to. All parties, not in it. But we are asking Jesus, come and do it. Oh, Jesus, just come and do it. No, you don't have to do it. Just come and do it. Jesus said there has to be a connection between me and you for there to be a flow. Are you listening? The, reserv the reservoir is filled. The reservoir is filled. Your responsibility is to connect. All right, let me say that again. I said the reservoir is filled. The reservoir is strategically placed. The re reservoir is in the right place. The reservoir is in the midst of you. The reservoir is everywhere. For the kingdom of God is at hand everywhere. Waiting for your connection. Is waiting for your connection. Don't, so don't stay there singing. I'm waiting down here by the river till you come Lord Jesus. For Satan don't want me to cross. We have conveyed some bad doctrine. Jesus said go. Let it be done. Allow it to be done. Tied to your belief. So the, 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 the level of your belief will determine the level of the result. And I'm glad that this version is not in all English. Go, let it be done. Just as you believe. Just as you believe, you will get exactly what you believe. In essence, God is saying, whatever you believe from, and that's why you have to be tunnel vision. Focus. Don't make no distraction. Because my faith must deliver. My faith will deliver whatever level of confidence that I have in my God I expect
expect that same level of result in my life. And I declare today that the people of God will begin to, to first of all, build their faith. Secondly, express their faith so that we may begin to see God's hand upon the earth. And not here singing, when God get ready, you got to move. You got to move. You got to move. When God get ready, you got to If God is God, he's always ready. God is never a passive God. Passivity is not a part of his, his nature. He's not the part of his nature. Are you listening to me? And, and so what we do, and that is why the kind of result we should have in our, we don't see because we, we, we think waiting, the scriptural waiting is passivity. The scriptural waiting is never passivity. Faith is always active. God says, go. Jesus said, go. Go to the centurion. So what the centurion had to do? Turn around and go. Turn around, although he didn't see with his eyes, and no report came back to him that something has changed with, with, with his servant. But what? He believed. And he acted upon the belief. He acted upon the word of Jesus. And he went. And as he was going in other scripture, uh, a report come back and say, your, your servant liveth. Are you listening to me? Because Jesus responded to the same level of his belief. Your faith can be seen. All right, let me say that again. Your faith can be seen. Because your faith is seen in your actions. How many of you remember the story? In Matthew 9. Matthew 9. Hallelujah. Matthew 9. Start from 1. Jesus stepped into a boat, crossed over and came to his own town. Some men brought to him a paralyzed man lying on a mat when Jesus when Jesus when Jesus when Jesus saw what did he see? He saw what? He saw their faith. He saw it. How did he see it? By what they did when he, Jesus saw their faith, he then said to the man, Take heart, son. Your sins are what? Amen. Forgiven. And this is a precursor to what James would have said in James chapter 5. He says, If any, anyone among you sick, let him what? Call for the elder of the church. His calling is an expression of his faith. Nobody not be talking to me. It's an expression of the faith. And he says, when he called and you go, he says what? Anoint him with oil. And he says what? The prayer of faith shall do what? The prayer of what? Shall what? Save the sick. And if he has what? Committed any sin, it will be forgiven. That's the same thing Jesus saying. Because of your faith and your coming. And the man didn't even, you never heard a word of him confessing his sin. Nobody not talking to me. But when faith goes in act action, faith is comprehensive. Faith will cause things to come to you that you never asked for. But because you recognize this Jesus as Lord, you see his person as God, as the one who is the one that will do for you more than you're able to ask or think. He will even do things for you you never asked for. Hmm. 
So Jesus said, right, go back to Matthew 9. Go back to Matthew 9. Hallelujah. Matthew 9. Yeah. Jesus saw their faith. He said to the man, take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. He says, take heart, what? Son, your sins are what? Forgiven. Did he come to get his sin forgiven? You, you believe that? No. He was carried there because he was paralytic. Are you listening? And when Jesus saw their faith, God is so moved and will be so moved by your faith that he'll take care of other things you didn't come for. No, 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 no. Are you listening to me? For faith is the transaction of heaven. And what, what, what he says, he's able to do what? Far beyond that you're able to what? Ask or think. Why? Because you have come in faith and faith opens the treasure of heaven to you. He says, take heart, son. Your sins are forgiven. Look at the next verse. And, and, and at this, some of the teachers of the law said to themselves, this fellow is blaspheming. Knowing their thought, Jesus said, why do you entertain evil thoughts in your heart? The, watch what he said. Watch what happened. The teachers of the law said to themselves, not to Jesus, said to themselves, you are blaspheming. And God, Jesus called that evil in their hearts. What was the evil in their heart? It is not so much because they said he's blaspheming, but evil in their heart because here comes a man who needs help from heaven and they're more interested in theology than the freedom of the man. Nobody's not talking to me. You see, the church sometimes is wrapped up in theology, not more than the help of people and raising their faith to a level to believe. Some, some places are, have set up in such a way that only the preacher must get the starlight. What I mean by that, anything happen must come to him. Him lay hand and we say, oh, what a great healer he is. What a great this he is. Are you listening to me? It has to be that we have to raise people to a level that they themselves will come to a place so that they can themselves reach out themselves and be able to believe God for themselves. Are you listening to me? That the, that the altar become less with people and more testimony in the congregation. Are you listening to me tonight, today? All right, watch this. He says, why do they? Which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven, or to say, get up and walk. But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on the earth to forgive sins. So he said to the paralyzed man, get up, take up your mat, and go to your house. And if you think it is greater to say to the man, take up your mat and go to your house, than to say to him, your sins are forgiven. You judge. You judge. Because the greatest thing that this man needs, more, more than him getting up from his mat, is to have his sins forgiven. Because it is likely, it's because of his bad decision that caused him that paralysis. So Jesus had to deal with the roots. Oh, you're not hearing me. Yeah, because you have to understand that most sickness, there is a spirit that is attached to it. That's why Jesus called it the spirit of infirmity. So Jesus said, I am dealing with the root of this man's problem. Because how many of you know that? that I mean, unfavorable circumstances happening to people can get people bitter. Can get people so tied up inside of them. That, 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 that for, 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 for deliverance to come outwardly, inwardly have to be free. That's why I'm saying you got to be discerning. Because some people are so, are so bitter on the inside. And if you ever try to deal with outside, with bitterness on the inside, you ain't getting no result on the outside. For the root of bitterness will control everything about a man. So Jesus said, son... Your sins are forgiven. All that you, you, you blame yourself all these years. 
of, of what you did and, and, and the causation of, of, of the circumstances that you now you know, experience. But Jesus said, you came here. Your friends took you here. And I tell you, I announce to you, your sins are forgiven. Don't, don't watch the religious people. Don't, don't watch those who know your story and know what you went through. Don't watch the, 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 the theologian that want to excuse, excuse and tell you that, oh, you know, um, um, I mean, you're, you're sick now, but you're, you're, um, sometimes God brings sickness on you to humble you. He said, don't listen to the theologian. I tell you, in spite of what you have ever done, I tell you, you are forgiven. And on top of that, I tell you, take up your bed and go home. Jesus said, I come that you may have life and have it more abundant. And Jesus said, I'm not stuck up with your, your, theolo your, your theology and your religiosity. I come to give people life. I don't come to analyze what people did in the past and what they, 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 they went through. All I want to do is to set this woman free. All you see is her act of adultery. But I see a soul that need to be free. I see a soul that need to be free. I see a soul that need to be free. So any of you that do not have any sin, you never commit no sin. You never do nothing wrong. You cast the first stone. You throw that stone on that woman. And every one of them with their religious self had to walk out of that place. And Jesus turned to the woman and said, Neither do I condemn you, but now I empower you to go and sin no more. For that which they thought religiously they could capture Jesus and condemn a woman. Jesus with his eternal love and compassion. Hallelujah. That's why we, got to be, we, we have to constantly express our faith in this God. This God who is eternal. This God who is loving. This God who expresses himself for all those who believe it. We have a testimony. We have a testimony of our forefathers and see what God has done and we have a mighty cloud of witnesses yeah because this rock is stable and can be counted on my faith must be in this rock I declare this this season raise your faith build your faith I said what? Build your faith. Build your faith. Express your faith. Because according to your, the level of your expression of faith will be the level of the result you will see. Let me say one more thing. Not only build your faith, but guard your faith. What you must do? Guard your faith. That's why Jesus said, be careful what you hear. Be careful what you hear. What you put your ears to. Just be careful. Guard your faith. In this season, guard your faith. Father, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you that your people will build their faith. How do they build it? By hearing your word and by expressing and walking out those things they've heard. For he who hears and practices the word of God it's like a man who builds his house upon a rock. When the winds of life blow, when the storms of circumstances come, his house will not be moved. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father, that there's a people in this house that will not throw away their faith. They will not throw away their confidence 
as you promise in Hebrews chapter 10 that we should not cast our confidence away because it has sure recompense of reward. For he who have called us is faithful. Father, we raise our faith. We'll be greater listeners of the word and greater practicers of the word. For your word will not return to you void. According to your faith, be it unto you. Lord, I believe in you. In you. I'll always believe in you. Though I can see you. And I'll put my trust in you. Let this whole world say what they may. No one can take this joy away. Lord, I believe. I don't know what you're believing for. But I wanted to sing it to him. Lord, I believe. I will not believe my circumstances over you, Lord. I will not believe my situation over you, Lord. I will not believe the, the world over you, Lord. to God must believe that he is and he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I 
believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I found. Lord, I believe. I trust. Precious than gold, more precious than gold, our faith. Lord, we will build up our most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit, listening to your word, practicing your word. That every challenge of life will become a subject to our faith. Will become a subject to our faith. God, we believe. We believe. We believe. I pray that no one's faith will fail, but every man's faith will be built. Wherever you are, whatever struggle you face in your life right now, hear the word of the Lord. It's the word of the Lord. And through the word of the Lord, faith comes. Hear the word of the Lord. Be strengthened. Be built up. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And every challenge of the now, every challenge of the future, God, we thank you that we will have the corresponding faith to deal with everything. And Lord, you always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. That the aroma of God's presence and person will be all over our community, our homes and the nation. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you. 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 Lord, I thank you for everyone whose faith was getting weak, whose stand was becoming unsure. I thank you, God. for raising them their faith as they've heard this word today 
and whatever the challenge is in their lives now. Just like the four men who brought that paralytic. We together, Lord, we stand around those whose faith might be waning. We stand around them and we say in the name of the Lord Jesus, be strengthened by all might by the Spirit of God. The Spirit of faith which we receive we rise up within you and all doubt and fear and intimidation will flee away from your life. We declare this morning in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray for everyone now that under the sound of my voice and will listen to this um, in the coming days and months, Lord, that do not know you as Lord and Savior. I pray, Father, that now they will put their trust in you who died for them, who gave your life for their sins, Lord God, that they may be forgiven and they may experience new life. Father, by the Spirit of God, right now, Lord, convict God that heart, convict that soul, Lord Jesus, to come into faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Wherever you are right now, I want you to pray this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, I recognize that I'm a sinner, lost without you. But today I believe that Jesus Christ came and died on the cross, was buried, rose again, and stand as an intercessor for those who will believe. Right now, I accept you, Lord Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. Wash me and cleanse me now from all my sins. And today, make me your child as you promised. That as many as receive you, Lord, they become the sons of God. I receive you today. And I thank you for saving me. Because I believe you. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, I thank you for all those who have prayed this prayer. Thank you for the reality that faith in Christ Jesus brings. The new birth and the new life. Thank you now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. We give you praise. We give you honor for doing it. In the name of Jesus. If you have received the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior, this is a good opportunity to let us know. Call us 940-1522 or 979-1522. Someone will be there to take your info and to encourage you more on what you should do. God bless you. And we thank God and we rejoice, not only with the angels in heaven, but we rejoice with you for making Jesus your choice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to encourage the believer Amen. To stand in faith. To build their faith. To keep on coming to God in prayer, in faith. Amen. Not just the multitudes of words, but the belief of your heart. The prayer of faith saves. The prayer of faith delivers. The prayer of faith is, cannot be conquered. The prayer of faith still works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want also to give you an opportunity to give because the work of God has to continue, especially now. Amen. Because we want the word to go out far and wide. And we want people to um, um, experience the compassion of Jesus. Amen. As we help those who are struggling in their lives and struggling um, for food, for finances, whatever it is, we want to be the hand of God extended. Amen. Reaching out to the world in kindness, just as Jesus prayed over, prayed over the, the, the bread and fed the 5,000, 5,000 men, men, 
not counting the children and women. So there might have been up to 8,000 people. Jesus care for your belly too. Hallelujah. So we want to be able to minister to people, especially in this time, to show them the love of Christ. That church is just more than words. But we express our faith in action. Amen. So we want you to give generously. Amen. As, as on, on your screen, you will see some of the ways you can give. But if you are not, um, if you are not exposed to those things yet, um, we want you to put your, your, your offering and your tithe in an envelope. You can take it to the office. Amen. Open Mondays, half day, Tuesday to Friday um, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m can come this drop box both upstairs and downstairs you can put your offering and let me tell you something amen in this house we want we use God's money for the purpose of his kingdom here on earth and to help others who need the help of God amen so father we thank you amen we thank you we thank you we thank you so much for the ability Oh God, to be a part of this expression that we can give to the kingdom of God and that God, your kingdom, Lord Jesus, will never pass away. And God, you promise that those who honor you, you will honor them. And to God, those who give into your kingdom, you'll give back to them good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. Lord, we believe that. We believe that. And we thank you that luck will never be a part of this house. Lord God, those who are seeking job will get fulfillment. Those who have a job will get promotion. And those, oh God, who have their own business, Lord, we declare that even in this season, they will, they will make the most money. Hallelujah. Oh God, they will have the most clients. In the name of Jesus. For you are no respect of the times where people live. You are God all the time. Hallelujah. And all for all times. And so we praise you and give your glory. In Jesus name. Amen. We want to also, um, those of you who are here, we want to also tell you that if you have your card, and mach the machine is available, you can run your card for that. Uh, amen. 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 We thank God for you. Amen. As we close today, we want to sing our old, old song that we sing all the time. Amen. That speaks so much of our faith in God and this God that cannot cha change. Amen. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word. Just to see you Wednesday night amen still at 5 p.m. on Wednesday evening as we gather again around the word of the Lord and we believe in God to do great things in your life he sent his word and healed them and delivered them 
from all their distresses. Amen. So may the peace and love of God be with you, go with you. Amen. You shall not be moved because your faith is in the rock which is immovable. Amen. God bless you today. Have a great time. Thank you.